Welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to solve a coordinate equation. Find median in a data stream. Find median in a data stream. Data stream. So in this video, we're going to be solving this question. This is very, very important coordinate equations. Now let's talk about how to solve this problem? Let's assume we have a stream where we flow of integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What is the median of this, this stream? Can you tell me what is the median? Yeah. We saw the length is an even number. So median is the average of the middle two element. So median is 3.5. What is the median of this a stream? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Can you tell me the median? Since the length of this flow of integers is an odd number, so median is the middle number. So this is the median. Alright, so I hope you have understood how to find out median. Now let's talk about how to solve this problem. Let's assume in our flow first we have 1, then 2, then 3. Okay. This is obvious. <laughs> we can find it median easily because this number is in sorted order. That's right. What if you may have this flow? 4, 5, 6. Okay, this is not difficult for you to find it median of this this train you can um, you can get the middle two number and you can find out the average of them so you get the median but the question is if you have this flow first five two four one six uh, then uh, three how do you find out the median can you tell me how you can find out the median of this stream? So let's say, okay, Barrett, I can just sort it in ascending order. Okay, let's do it. If we sort it, what do we get? We get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's nice. Now we can just get the average of the middle two. That's correct, but the time complexity for this approach is in log in time complexity. If we add one more element here, let's assume we add it here minus two. Now we have to do in order to find out media in this stream. We have to first sort it. So the sorting operation will take time of city of n log n. This is efficient solution. If we have million of median find operations after adding some number of elements, we'll always just have n log n time of city. That is not good. So what we can do? Can we do it better? Obviously we can. So what I do, first we took 5, okay, let's put at the first position, then we took 2, or we insert 2 right here, 4, now we see 4 is not in its position, so we can just move it in a perfect position, we can do it in all n time, we can sort it in all n times, since we are adding one element at a time in our string. Is this efficient? This is efficient than linear logarithmic. But still, this is not an efficient solution. Can I improve it? Yes, obviously, we can improve it. We can improve it from linear to a logarithmic time complexity. Let's see how. We know we can solve this problem in linear time complexity the median finding operation in the data stream will take 
linear time complexity. Now let's reduce this time complexity from linear to logarithmic. So how we can improve this linear time complexity to logarithmic time complexity? In order to solve this problem in logarithmic time complexity, we are going to use heap data structure. We're going to use two heap data structure, min heap and max heap. So to solve this problem, we need two data structure, min heap and max heap. Now let's see how to solve this problem using heap data structure efficiently. Let's assume we have this flow of integers. Our job is to find out the median from this stream in a logarithmic time complexity. Let's create here two data structure min heap and max heap. This is our min heap and this is our max heap data structure. So min heap and max heap. This is going to be a little bit tricky. I would say please pay your full attention to this video right now. Uh, now what we are going to do, uh, since this is our uh, stream, in our stream first we have the number 5. So first our number 5. Now what we are going to do, we are going to store this number 5 in min heap or in max heap. Can you talk me? Okay, don't worry. Before, uh, before understanding how to insert this number, first try to understand how we're gonna approach this problem using heap data structure. First, let's talk about the intuition behind this algorithm. So here we have one, two, three, four, five. Let's add one more number, six. Our job is to find out median. Okay, our job is to find out median. Now here what we're gonna do, we're gonna partition this array into two halves. We're gonna partition this array into two parts. In our first part, in our first in our first part, we're gonna take this first three element, one, two, the three. In our second part, we're gonna take this three element four, five, six. Four, five, six. Okay. We're gonna store in our right half. We're, we're gonna store in our right half four, five, six, and in the left half one, two, three. Why we're why we're doing this? Okay. This is very very important to understand how we're gonna apply our minif and maxif data structure. Let's swap this name. Let's say this is our max heap and this is our mean heap. So it will be easy for your brain to understand or to sync this algorithm easily. Since we, we saw the length of this array, the length of this array is an even number. For even number, we know that the median is the average of middle two element. Now we have this and this. Now what we're gonna do? We're gonna pick the minimum. We're gonna pick the minimum from the right and maximum from the left. And we're gonna find out the average of them. So what I will get then? 3 plus 4 divided 2 equals to 3.5. This is your median, right? So from the right part, we're gonna store the value in our mini data structure. So what we get? Four, five, six. From the left part, we're gonna store the we're gonna store the element in our maxif data structure. So we get one, two, and three. Did you understand what we're doing here? We are partitioning our array and we're storing the maximum element, the element 
on the right part in min hip and element on the left part on max hip. Why we're doing this? Because our job is to find the median. So if we store the minimum possible element, then from here max hip we'll get the max three, and from here we'll get the minimum from min hip. From max hip data structure, we know that if we uh, if we called give us the first element from the data structure, if we call pick function or pull function or if we say method, then it, from max hip it will give us the highest value first. And from min hip, it will give us the minimum, the lowest value first. Okay? So, we can find out median by taking the peak element from here, that is 3 peak element from here, 4. And if we average, we will get 3.5. This is the case for the length of string even number. If the length of the string even number, it will work exactly like this. Now, if we have here one more element. Uh, let's add, let's say we have here 7. Now what we're going to do, in our left partition, we will have one element less than the right partition. So on the right partition, we will have 7. And in this case, we, we know that the median is the middle element. Since you are storing one more element on the, on the right parts, so our median is the minimum from this part. Is that correct? This is kind of a self-explanatory. This is not that much difficult. So this is a simple logic. If we have sorted over all the elements on the left, these elements are less than all the elements we have on the right parts. So if we take the minimum element from here, we'll get the median. So median is four. If, if we just add here seven, so for this problem, our maxip will hold one to three, minimum will hold four, five, six, seven. I hope you get the idea and this is what we're going to do now you might think you might ask hey Barik you are doing it precisely that's okay you're dealing with a sorted string that is not difficult we don't need a hybrid structure to solve this because we know we can find the median since that that is sorted but our data can be unsorted. You are absolutely right. Now, let's see how to handle this kind of case. We don't have to sort it. Our given stream don't have to be in sorted order. It can be in any order. It can be in sorted order. It can be in unsorted order as well. Now, let's see how we're going to apply the same logic here. All right. I can erase everything from here. Okay, now let's handle this uh, string. We have in this string 5, 2, 3, 6, 1, 4 in unsorted order. So if we insert in our maxif, in our maxif, what we will have? We will have 1, 2, 3. In our minif, we will have 4, 5, and 6. 4, 5, and 6. Since the length is an even number, we can get the peak element from here and from here. And we will average them. 3 plus 4 divided by 2 equals to 3.5 I hope you are understanding if you, have, if you have any problems you can comment in this video now how we're gonna partition this this is unsorted this is sorted this is easy this is not difficult right so how we're gonna insert in our maxif 1 2 3 the, the minimum element in a partition on the left partition on the right partition in the left partition will store in maxif from the right partition will store in the min hip the size of maxif and min hip can be the same also the size of min hip can be greater than max in that case we will have one more element in the min hip than maxif okay let's see how to do this if we can store here the, the, the three element here and the three element here, four, five, six, then we're done with this problem. Are you agree with me? Okay, let's do it. You may, you may think, hey Barrett, if we have here one more element, let's say minus two. All right, so let me use everything here. You might ask, let's insert here minus 10. So 
what will be in our partitions? That's a nice question. Here we will have minus 10 and we have 3 right here. In that case, this 3 will be the peak element from mean here with our media. Okay, we'll handle this. Let's see how. So now we're going to implement, we're going to talk about our core logic how we can store here and here our element by partition the minimum element in our maxif maximum element in our mean here so you can find out the the minimum from the right and maximum from the left so we can easily find out the medium this is kind of a self-explanatory all right first we have five now we're going to insert straightly in our mean heap data structure so in our mean heap we have five so first, we took the first element from our stem, inserted in our min heap. We don't know still the size of min heap and max heap. We just inserted this one element in our min heap and max heap. Okay? Now, we're going to pick the minimum element from here. Let's remove the minimum element and let's put it back here. Okay? Now, we're going to check if the size of min heap is less than max heap. Then what we are going to do? If the if we see the size of mini heap is less than max heap, we're gonna remove the max element from max heap and we're gonna store it in our mini heap. Okay, it's kind of intimidating. Just let me go through this. Let's put it back here. Fine. So our first element straight stay in this heap data structure. Let's move forward. This is kind of intimidating, I know that. When I was learning this algorithm, I was feeling the same. So if you feel that, no problem. Let's insert two in our mini beta structure from right here. Now what are we gonna do? We're gonna pick, we're gonna pick the minimum element from here, which is two, let's put it back here. Now we see that the size of mini heap is not less than max. So we'll do nothing. We are done. So up until this point, we have processed this two element. Now if we ask, if I ask you, please tell me the median. Can you tell me the median? That is nice for this stream. That is the average of the peak element from here and here. So two plus five equals to, two plus five equals to seven divided two equals to three point five. Okay. Now let's move forward. This is our next element. Let's insert in our minimum data structure. Let's let's remove the minimum from here. Three. Let's put it back in our max. Heap. So three. We see size of minimum is less than max. Heap. So let's let's pull or remove the peak element, which is three, and let's put it back here. Now, if I ask you, please told me the median. What is the median in here? Median is three. We can find out that in constant time, in constant time. So find the median. This will take constant time complexity. All right. And inserting in order to insert in our data structure, we have to store our data from our stream in our data structure. That will take time complexity. Insert. In order to insert in a heap data structure, it takes time complexity O of log n. This is for heapify or heapify algorithm that we have in the mini and max data structure. When we inserted the element in our mini heap, we'll have the minimum element first. It will create a tree data structure inside. It will do heapify. If we insert the element, it will it will store at the peak at the at the first position or in the root position will have the minimum possible element and for max it will have the maximum the highest element in the root i'm not going to uh, i'm not going to uh, here heapify maybe this is not the right pronunciation anyway so heapify will text over the time complexity so if we say what is the median median is three the, the minimum from the right, okay. Let's move forward. Six, let's insert here. What is the minimum? Three, let's remove. Let's put it back here. 
Now we see the size of maze is not less than this. So we'll do nothing. Let's move forward. One. Let's insert in our min heap. Let's remove the minimum. Minimum is one. Let's insert here. We see size of minimum is less than maximum. So let's pick that. Let's take the max element from max heap, which is three. Let's put it back here. So we're going to insert here three. What is the median up until this point in our stream? What is the median? Can you tell me? All right, that's simple. Median is a three. I hope you're understanding. Let's move forward. Four, let's insert here. Now we see the minimum here three. Let's remove, let's put it back here. Size is the same. Size of minimum is not less than maxi. So we will not remove from here and we will not put it back there. Okay? Let's move forward. This is our last domain. Let's insert here. Let's remove the min. Min is minus scan. Let's put it back here. We see size of minimum is less than max if. What are we going to do now? We're going to remove the max and we're going to put it back here. Now it told me the median. Can you tell me the median from this stream? That is obvious. It is not difficult. This is three. The minimum from the right. I hope you are understanding. We are partitioning into two halves. On the left we have element and less than the element on the right parts. Okay? And we may have one more element on the right. For the odd number of elements. This is how we can solve this question. Let me add one more number here. Let's add 20. So let's put it here 20. Let's remove the minimum 3. Let's put, let's put it here. Now what is the median? Can you told me the median? On the left, what do you have? Minus 10, 1, 2, 3. Here, what do you have? Uh, we have for mini first we'll get 4, then 5, 6, 20. What is the median? It is the average of this. Max from right, 4, min for left, 3. I'm sorry. The minimum from right. Minimum from right, we have many, many data structures. So 4 plus max from left, 3, divided by 2 equals to 3.5. All right, this is how we can solve this question. This is the efficient algorithms. Now let's implement our algorithm. The most important thing in this algorithm is that we have to partition our given stream into two parts. Okay, we have to partition it into two parts. Now let's create our heap data structure first. I'm gonna just write out the pseudocode not the real code if you need real code in your uh, prepared uh, preferred programming language please comment in this video i'll share that uh, now let's create here our uh, heap data structure max equals to this is our max if mean equals to just call the brackets just think about it that this is our max if and this is your mean if data structure now let's implement our insert insert method insert it takes in it is a number we're going to insert in our in our data structure mean if and max if first we're going to insert in our mean heap so mean dot add mean dot add this number itself now we're going to remove whatever the minimum we have in our mini data structure let's remove that and let's add it back to our max if so max dot add max dot add let's remove from mini data structure so mean dot pool mean dot pool all right so we removed from minimum the peak element and we insert it in our max data structure in our max data structure now we're gonna check the size if we saw the size of mean here is less than the size of max if max dot size in this case what I am going to do, I'm going to remove the max element from max if and let put it back. Let put it back in our min if data structure. Okay, let's do it. So max dot, uh, we have to add in min data structure, right? So min dot add. Let's pull from max, max dot pull. Our goal is to 
our here our goal is to store the minimum element in our maximum and maximum element in our mean here with equal symbol or we may have one more element on the mean here than the um, than the maximum okay this is our core logic if we if we go through a couple of examples it will make sense if you go through a couple of examples it will make sense this is a simple algorithm to solve this question okay, let's put here parenthesis now let's implement our find median function that is easy so find median find median so first we're going to check the length if we sum if we now let's just now let's sum the size of mean and maximum so mean dot size plus max dot size if we saw the size of mean if and max if there is structure if we saw the size of uh, mean if plus max if modulus 2 equals to 0 it means if this condition is true it means that we have odd number of if this is true it means that we have even number of elements in our current scheme or we, that is stored in our data structure so here in that case what we have to do have to find out the the peak from max and peak from mean the root element okay so here let's return that even return mean dot peak plus max dot peak and let's divide it by two this is the median okay otherwise what we're going to return return just the element just the peak element from mean here because in that case we have one extra element in the mean here so if you return the minimum we have to return the minimum from this side from the right side all right so return mean dot peak this is our algorithm this will take time complexity of one and space complexity of one and you clearly saw that peak operation takes a constant time and time complexity and for insert operation it will take time complexity of log n for the simplifying process and it will take space complexity for n number of elements it will take space complexity of n to store n number of elements in our uh, in our heat data structure I hope you saw. Uh, I hope you've understood this video explanation. If you have any question, please post your question in the comment. And if you have any suggestions, please give me your suggestions, give me your feedbacks. If you think I have to improve the explanations as well as the presentations, please comment in this video. Thanks for watching this video. I'll see you very soon. Thank you.